Now, something that not necessarily you would look for in a traditional piano, but nonetheless I think can be very useful, is the recording functionality. Um, it's an element that, as a musician and a composer myself, I use quite a lot. It's really handy to be able to record layers and, and add layers and build them and get yourself a song um, as, as easy as possible and as accessibly as possible. Um, and the, the Clavinovas do that, which is really handy. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that now and see if we can get a bit of a song going. Um, I'm going to change the piano sound, click of a button, and now I've got the Bosendorfer sound, which is a beautiful, soft, sort of mellow, press the record button once and you you record it's, it's that easy it's ready for me to record now um, and I'm gonna play something let's see what comes out So that has recorded, let's stop that, save. Now I could play that back, it's done, and it's saved onto here now. So I could turn it off, walk away, come back two days later, it will still be here. Um, play it back, listen to it back, see if you're happy. If you are, why not add another layer? You know, it's, it's really easy. You've got more than one voice on the, the CLP series and on the 635 you've got 34. So you've got 34 voices ranging from pianos, strings, um, electric pianos, organs, they're all in here. Um, I'm going to sift through now and see which one I want to pick. I think I'd like a bass in this, just to give a, a sort of low end layer. Um, I like the acoustic bass um, on this, which is really nice. Um, and I think it'd be quite subtle in this piece particularly. Um, so let's record over the top. Three clicks, and you're there. Now I'm going to press play first because I don't want it to. Um, I don't want to record the bass straight away. I want it to come in a little bit later. So I'm going to press play. Plays the piece. Save it. If you're happy with it, again, it will store. If not, why not add another layer? I'm going to pick strings this time. Now there are two types of strings on here. You've got normal strings and then you've got what's called slow strings. I particularly like the slow strings because they, um, they fade in a little bit more. So it doesn't just come straight in with a harsh string sound. It, it sort of it flows in a little bit more naturally when you play the keys. You sort of hear it flowing, ebbing and flow. So I'm going to now add a layer of that to that track. And I think I do want it coming in straight away this time. I'm going to play one note up here and um, see what happens. yourself a song um, and if you want to you could export that there's a USB port hidden away under here to um, you know not hinder on the beautiful look of the, the CLP um, 
and you can export it onto a, a USB stick, either as a WAV or a MIDI file. Um, MIDI would allow you to put it onto a Logic Session, GarageBand, Sibelius, um, so you can go in and edit and, and, and further the, the development of the track. If you think it's ready and uh, ready to go, audio, WAV is probably your best bet. Put it onto YouTube, SoundCloud, it's, it's really easy, um, and you do it all on the screen here. Um, but it's just great, it's just such a good tool to have. Um, and it doesn't take away from the quality, you know, it's not it's too much either, it's not overwhelmingly um, tricky to do, There's a lot, it's very simple, very simple screen, um, and it's just a nice tool to have, and I think, again, if you're a piano player and a musician, having something like that is really handy. So, the sound you're hearing there is the CFX Grand, which is Yamaha's new sort of flagship uh, digital piano sound, um, emulating a big £100,000 grand piano, um, and it's faultless, it's beautiful, it's, it, you really hear the dynamics in it. And it's even nicer to play because of the keys on the 635. They are synthetic ivory uh, and ebony key tops, which means that the, the touch of them, the actual physical feeling of them, it feels like a traditional piano um, and emulates that. So it just gives a little bit more um, realism when you're playing um, and that as well is, is said within the escapement mechanism which is a, another bit of resistance in the keys here just another added layer of um, dynamic bit of resistance emulating again a traditional piano makes all the difference and I know that teachers will be over the moon to hear that they're playing on something like this because it does just feel like a real piano if you played um, a grand piano, acoustic grand piano for an hour, and you played this, you would feel very little difference. And that is the aim, really, is to bridge the gap between the traditional acoustic and the 635 does that.